At university, I was applying for one of the intramural teams. Yeah, just a normal Saturday afternoon, fairly innocuous tackle situation and split second, life changing moment. And as soon as it happened, kind of knew exactly what it was. It was a spinal cord injury, T12, L1 kind of level. So my waist down, from the moment it happened, there's no kind of movement or sensation. It took me quite a while to kind of come to terms with things. I think some people are, are different. Some people seem to just get on with it and uh, it took me a couple of years. Wheelchairs all have a sort of useful life on them. I never had my own one. So I asked the charitable trust, would it be possible to kind of get one? It's a RGK wheelchair. It weighs less than four kilograms. One of the main things when you have a, a spinal injury is that you lose your independence, um, a part of it anyway, and being able to, to just even have a, a wheelchair that I can very easily throw in out of the car, it makes a massive difference. Natalie and I love traveling. We love kind of city breaks, so being able to kind of bring your mobility aid, so practical, so light, and so effective, has been a massive change. Before my accident, um, I would have been a big cycler and I had seen um, a hand cycle and again I I'd, I'd approached the charitable trust and showed them exactly what sort of features it had and was able to get that and it's, it's been brilliant. I think now I have about 3,000 miles on it. It has been an unbelievable thing for Jamie to be able to get back into a hobby regularly where he doesn't feel like it's an adapted and less enjoyable version of what he remembers from it good to keep the muscles working but also mentally still just to get out and, and clear your head so it allows us I suppose to be more of a family and do normal things. It's like another dimension kind of in our family dynamic that we're able to kind of exercise even together. Who's faster? Would you say you or Daddy? Daddy. Just Am about. I? Yeah, Daddy on the hills maybe. You normally lead the way though don't you? Down yeah. hills though, Judah probably faster. Yeah. You're really fast. Our family's grown and we'd always lived in a bungalow. We'd always kind of wanted to, to try a more of a regular house and asked, asked the charitable trust would it be possible to, to kind of have funding to put towards a lift. So we found kind of the perfect house to put it in and they very kindly funded it and we got it installed last year in the house and it's obviously made a massive difference. It's modern, it looks the part kind of for the house and the kids seem to think it's a big toy and they love it too. Unfortunately, rugby is a physical game and, and there are a number of serious injuries to our players. It's the ethos of the sport that we look after those who have been injured and the charitable trust is there from the day somebody is injured to support them and their families in whatever way they possibly can. There's the finance bit of it obviously which is vitally important but then there's the care. A lot of the care uh, element to it is social. So you're keeping in contact with people. They're coming to Ulster Rugby, they're coming to the IRFU down in Dublin to watch games. Everybody wants to keep them in the fold, the rugby fold, the rugby family. So that's really what the Charitable Trust is about. The team from the Trust are just really special people. So much more than just a job for a lot of them. They just have a real passion for it. Every year they've always gifted Jamie with like a hamper. The hamper is a source of excitement in our house every year, maybe more so than Santa arriving. This year the hamper came and it was from Fallon and Byrne as well. There was some AirPods. Jamie can be a bit more hands-free then when he's on his phone and things. Over the last couple of years since we've had the kids, there's always a, a little toy or something in it for them, which has gone down really, really well. It's such a kind and generous thing that the, the Charitable Trust, I think, do for the players every year. They're, they're always there. Um, and it's just a reminder that if I ever need anything, that they are there. Generally from the Trust, the community aspect of still being tied into the sport without it having any kind of negative perception. The Trust has always encouraged you to enjoy the sport and still focus more on the positive side of it. it obviously it was a source of a bit of pain that the rugby had caused my injury, but I think through the Charitable Trust being there and helping, I do have that kind of passion again for rugby. Many of the players do become friends and so we stay with them throughout the rest of their lives and make sure they're looked after both financially and, and socially. 
I'd just like to say like, a massive thank you, I suppose, to, to everyone involved. The Charitable Trust makes a massive difference in the life of players that have been injured.